Hi everyone. In this video we'll be looking at the changes to registration with Avada 7.3. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. With Avada 7.3 we change the way Avada registration works. This was done primarily to simplify the process based on user feedback from using a generated Envato token key to simply pasting in the purchase code to register your purchase of Avada. For a new install, it is a simple matter of obtaining the purchase key from the ThemeForest account that purchased Avada and pasting it in to register. See the How to Register Avada documentation for full details on this process which is linked below. If you are updating your website from an earlier version to Avada 7.3, the process will be slightly different. In this case your site would already be registered with a token key, and this needs to be replaced with a purchase code. Let me illustrate with this local site that has Avada 7.2.1 installed. I can see there is an update available, and on the updates page I can see under themes that the Avada 7.3 update is available. I will just quickly run that update and update the plugins as well. And now when I head to the Avada dashboard again, we can now see a message that the registration needs to be updated. As you can see in the notice, there is a grace period of 10 days for you to locate and enter your purchase code. Each Avada website you create needs to have a unique purchase code, so allocate each copy of Avada you have purchased to a specific website. Within the 10 day grace period, the site will run as normal, and you will be able to update plugins and import pre-built websites etc. Once the grace period has expired, the site will still work as normal, but you won't be able to update Avada and premium plugins or import pre-built sites. So I'll just head to ThemeForest to get my purchase code. Make sure you're logged into the same ThemeForest account that was used to purchase Avada. I will go to my username and to downloads. And from the drop down arrow in the download button in my purchase, I will choose license certificate and purchase code. It doesn't matter whether you download the PDF or the text version. Just download it, open it, and select and copy the purchase code. Now I'll just head back to my site, paste the purchase code into the registration field, and click register now. I'm rewarded with a confirmation message and a tick, and it also shows as registered at the top of the dashboard. All done. This new registration system also still allows you to have a registered development site whether it be staging or a local site, as well as the live website. Please see the How to Use the ThemeFusion Support Desk documentation below for more information on how to manage your support account and license registrations. Ok, this concludes our video on the changes to registration with Avada 7.3. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.